Really, uh, you know, good good weekend. I, I think we've been we've been talking the last few weeks. I think offensively things have improved for us. We we were disappointed maybe with some of our defensive play over the last few weeks um, with the rebounding in that, but we were really still searching for those games where we maybe put 40 minutes together and, and it just felt like we a little bit more defensive minded uh, and, and good carryover from an offensive standpoint and you know guys having fun competing um, and, and really the, the 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 state of mind that we had for for both games I because it, it wasn't always perfect it's it's a game of runs and adversity and and uh, and I just thought we handled it about as well as we have this year. And I, th I think that had a little bit to do with the result. It helps to make shots, but the last seven games leading up to that, we've been making shots too. Uh, so so that was you know that's been a positive thing from an offensive standpoint. But just got a great opportunity to build on it and not get complacent, not think we've got anything figured out. Let's 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 keep the same resolve and let's let's have some. Uh, great energy, effort, and enthusiasm going into this weekend with Omaha. That's that's kind of the message that we're sending. Coach, just looking at uh, Tyree's uh, the turnover ratio, uh, uh, top six, top five, somewhere in there, another solid weekend. Is that kind of remarkable that the freshmen, uh, you know, have that ability to handle those situations? Because it's not always commonplace to see freshmen in that category of at this the turnover ratio, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm not going to say what, like we're surprised at the success he's having in assisted turnover ratio. I think we felt pretty confident and comfortable that he was going to be a guy that could be impactful. Um, you know, the surprise has been that he's shooting the ball pretty well, maybe as a freshman more so than the assisted turnover ratio, but he's putting time in um, with that as well. So. I mean, I, I think we felt with Tyree there was a, a pretty good talent level, um, but a, a good feel for the game. And I think when you have a good feel, it allows you. And, it, and just feel is something that, as a coach, you, you can't always just teach feel. Uh, some kids have it. You can watch a 13-year-old out there playing somewhere, and boy, that kid's got feel. And, and Tyree had that uh, when, we, when we brought him here. And I think when you have it, it helps things like assisted turnover ratio because you're you're making good reads you're putting the ball where it needs to go and a lot of times it's because you're making the right play and a lot of times that's the easier play um, so you know it, it kind of comes hand in hand with him I think we you know I think we feel like uh, that that's something we we more or less had a good idea to expect this year yeah coach do you uh, do you feel like you guys you know, have learned some lessons here this year about playing teams, searching for their first win in league play, and uh, maybe just a level of desperation that, that you can be up against uh, when you're looking at that. Yeah, um, you'd like to think so. I, you know, we talked yesterday in a meeting about like it's 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 not focusing on our opponents. It's it's focusing on playing against the game of basketball and and. Like, doesn't matter who we're playing. Let's take care of the basketball and do a good job getting great shots. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Let's block out every single time. And we're struggling with that still. But like across the board, you could. there's games within the game that you're always trying to win. You're always trying to do uh, better and improve on. And I think sometimes it's really easy to look at an opponent and look at a record and then kind of cheat your team and yourself out of being the best you can be. Um, you know, I look at Western Illinois when they came in. Their their lineup and how they played was much different than the previous weeks of their schedule, and they came in with a great level of urgency. And we were fortunate to get one win uh, with how we played, uh, let alone two. So it wasn't going to happen where we're going to get two in that. So, you know, let, let's f keep focus on us. Let's keep focus on getting better defensively and and, and fewer mistakes. You know, tougher on the ball, better gaps, um, better post defense before they get catches. You know, then then let's focus on blockouts and rebounding because this is going to be a really good team that's going to push us from a post standpoint and, and rebounding uh, with their size and physical attributes. Um, they got experienced guys that know how to move people, and 
we've got to we've got to do a great job on the glass because it's something that's really sticking out right now that we've we've got to improve on. Coach, um, over these last six games, the, the three point shot has really kind of seemed to find its mark for you guys. I think in the first 17, 16 games, you guys shot like one time in the in the forties. How much has the three point shot starting to fall been important for the offense to sort of find its rhythm and find itself here? Yeah, I, you know, it's really it's it's funny because it's probably right around that North Dakota, that second North Dakota State game, about the time Bentu played. Uh, where, where he really, where we kind of put him in that lineup is when a lot of this changed, and I think that energy he brings out there, his his confidence in shooting, um, helped a lot. But but like our movement got better, uh, our our opportunities to attack, get the ball to the weak side, attack some more, uh, keep the ball alive for great looks. Uh, it just seemed like. It, that light switch kind of went on for our team. And I think, I think Ben Tu's, what he brought, it just seems like it's hard to argue that would be, it would be something else. I just, I just think he's kind of brought a lot of confidence offensively to our team that way. Um, and, and I say that, and like Ethan and Caleb, and these guys have been making shots and doing a good job this year, Sabian as well. Uh, but like, I just, I just think the, the attack, aggressive shot ready mindset that Ben has kind of brought has been contagious for our guys and it's helped a lot it's helped a lot you know we, we said going into this weekend that I think those top five guys for us that are making threes were, were right around 38 percent on the season you know in the last seven games making over eight a game uh, as a team and, and and now we're you know, going into this, just in all of the league play, our top six shooters, and that's throwing Suker in there too, because he, he had a good weekend of shooting, are, are at 40% right now. So, like, if you just take our last nine game stats from an offensive standpoint in shooting, uh, we're, we're, we're right there with the top teams in our league as far as our percentages go. Um, but, you know, that's one area of the game that we're, we're up there. We're scoring the ball at a really good clip the last nine games. We just got to stop the bleeding on defense a little bit more and, and rebound better, that would help. But, but uh, there's no question, it opens it up for Phil. You got to pick your poison. Uh, when you got six guys out there that are shooting combined 40% from three, you got to pick your poison when you're guarding somebody like Phil. And he's proven he can make the pass. His assists have gone up recently. So it's helped us, there's no doubt, it's helped us. Yeah, Coach, in, in your years around basketball, do you recall a situation in which a player like Ben too goes from, you know, really not seeing the court to not to not only you know being like a role player for you, but but essentially becoming your star, or, you know, scoring twenty on back to back nights, or or is this as unique of a story as it kind of feels like? Is, can you think of any situations? Yeah. More? Well, it's really unique. You don't see it very often. You know, unfortunately for me, I'm old and I've I've been around long enough. You, you know, and I and I and I think it's important to. To, to call those guys out because they deserve it. You know, I, I, we had Alex Thomas at Northern State, and I, when I took that job, he was a junior and hadn't been playing much uh, for Coach Meyer and didn't play much for me that year. And then that second year as a senior, um, got inserted, hit a, hit a game winner against Butler, hit a game winner against Crookston, uh, and went on to be, I think, our leading scorer that year, or at least one of our leading scorers that year, and had a terrific senior year. And, you want to acknowledge guys like that because there's not, it doesn't happen that often. It doesn't happen that often that guys see their senior year when the first three years are filled with adversity and not playing. And uh, so I, I just, yeah, that's the only other time where it's been like that, where for, for he, you know, three or four years, you just don't get to see the floor. And then when your opportunity really comes or, or maybe because you're a senior, that opportunity's there and you take full advantage of it. So, I mean, it's like we've been, we've been talking a lot about it with Bentu, you know, I, I think he'll always put the focus back on his teammates and say all the right things. But it's, it's, it's to me, this is such a big, it's so much more than basketball when you, when you look at that situation. It just, it just tells you, there's a reason why Alex Thomas is successful in life today, many years after basketball, because he can persevere through adversity and you'd want that guy in your team. And I think Ben Tu is going to be a lot like that, just someone that from a, a father to a, a, an employee of some kind or some kind of leader in his profession, he's going to do really well 
Um, and you just, you've got great comfort in that. Uh, and as a coach, you don't always have a lot to do with it. Uh, it, it it's the kind of young people that they are, and, the, and it's really showing what kind of person they are. So it doesn't happen very often, but, but it's, it's fun when it does, because you just, you'd love to see it. Hey, Coach, you always preach playing basketball at your best at the end of the season. It's kind of getting to that point again this year where you guys are getting, getting to that point. What's allowed that to happen in there? Well, for, first off, I'd like to get to preaching that earlier where, where we're talking more about playing our best basketball a little bit earlier, not waiting so long. But, you know, again, a lot of new guys this year with, without a lot of practice time this summer or fall uh, the, the way we normally would have had it. And, and uh, I'm just, again, happy that these guys have – I told them this the other, just the other day in the film room. I said, I'm just glad you guys have kind of worked through some of the – you know, because you get on them. There, there's a lot of hard coaching involved to get it to this point. And to their, you know, to their credit, they've fought through this together as a team and have really bought into what we want to do. And, and uh, but it's, it's good to be playing, but you don't, don't take it for granted. We're, we got a lot to improve on. We got a lot to get better at. Um, let's, let's not stand here and pat our backs thinking we've done anything. Let's, we got to keep this thing moving forward. And it's going to take, a good practice today and a focused, again, approach tomorrow. And then uh, this Omaha team uh, brings a ton of obstacles. I mean, they're a very, very difficult team to just go play against. Um, and they got a lot of talented guys. And they've gone through injuries. They've gone through COVID stuff. Um, we haven't had a lot of that. We've had some adversity, but like from a COVID, like we haven't been shut down. And, and, and so, you know, knock on wood. but. But they have. They've dealt with some stuff. So I just think we're going to get a, a group of guys that have won a lot of games in, in the past that, that understand what it takes. And we're going to get a pretty focused approach by uh, UNO this weekend. So we better be ready to be our best and, and continue to get better.